What was banned at your school and why? The word buckle. I kid you not. Back in grade 7 a few kids in one class had his as word on a spelling test and thought it would be funny to just shout it out randomly. The teachers, believing it to be a code word for something more sinister, decided to outright ban the word across the school. Needless to say, the faculty became the brunt of many jokes both from students and their parents. That reminds me of the episode of Recess where the school banned TJ from saying homps. <laughs> Cell phones. Someone decided to make an Instagram account consisting solely of P with teachers' heads photoshopped onto the pornsters' bodies. I'm only in my 30s and it's crazy how much has changed since I was in high school. One kid printed off a ton of P and handed it out in the hallways. That was as high tech as our P incidents ever got. I think maybe two kids in my entire school had a cell phone. Two way hallways. Sounds crazy, right? The principal and his staff thought that it'd be a smart idea to have one-way hallways in order to cut down student traffic. If your locker was right around the corner, and you had to go against the traffic in order to get there, you had to walk all the way around. If you passed your class on the way to your locker, you had to make two circles around the building. This significantly increased tardiness and write-ups. Terrible idea. Weren't allowed to dye our hair unnatural colors. Banned hoop earrings and running like Naruto because a guy did that and fell down the stairs and broke his arm. The infamous anim run. Dark jeans. Their logic was that when we'd stand against white walls resting against them, the color of the jeans would rub off. I have never wanted to wear red or green jeans and then go and rub my butt all over a school's wall so badly before. Google. Our high school had some kind of contract with this really shitty school appropriate search engine called NetTracker. They banned using Google in school because it wasn't scholarly. Only NetTracker was allowed. They tried extending this to beyond the school. They wanted us to use only NetTracker for internet searches outside school, and sent home a pamphlet about internet rules outside the classroom. They said that students shouldn't have Android phones. I got a referral for having a Mato X smartphone. This was in 2015. Blankets. It was the south and they keep the AC on too high because it's so freaking hot outside. Girls would wear shorts to be cool when outside, but they'd get too cold inside. Thus, the blankets to keep their legs warm in class. Of course, blankets are opaque, and they were already being used to cover up legs. Well, if a girl started sharing a blanket with a guy, yeah, things could get a little handsy. Hey, stop vigorously jacking that guy off under that blanket Maria Zora. Looney Tunes characters on your clothes. It was the 90s at a shitty school. In my town in the 90s Looney Tunes shirts represented what gang you were in. Edit. For those asking, a specific character represented a specific gang. The 90s gangsters wore the shirts where the Looney Tunes characters were also dressed as gangsters. T-ball was banned for a long time because a kid hit the ball and threw the bat to the side so he could run the bases. It hit a pregnant teacher in the stomach and she had a miscarriage. Holy frick, that turned grim fast. Buckets. They banned us from carrying backpacks between classes, so a couple guys started carrying around their textbooks in buckets. Administrators. Banning the symptoms not the cause. Candy necklaces at my middle school. One day a couple of my friends came into the playground before school started with a candy necklace each, which immediately got everyone's attention. After we all them did to know where they got them and how much they cost. From the corner shop down the street and 10p as I recall, one or two others said they might go and get one for themselves before school started. That might go turned into them sprinting to the shop once one kid figured out how to weaponize them. Holding one piece of candy between their teeth. Stretching forward the elastic and biting down, it would catapult pieces of candy at whatever it was aimed at. That morning a few kids bought a candy necklace each, and played a game of firing bits at each other. The next morning all 400 kids that attended that school were engaged in all-out necklace war. Every single one of us must have had at least one and our own technique for maximizing the firing rate. After doing our best recreation of trench warfare all morning and having the kind of fun that only comes with an entire playground full of kids all playing the same game, we were all ushered into the assembly hall to be told that candy necklaces were now banned. Nobody lost an eye, just in case you were wondering. We used to make hornets out of folded paper and rubber bands. Very similar in concept. They considered banning rubber bands because of this, then realized how stupid that would be. Earrings on guys. 
This turned into a huge thing with students doing walkouts and yelling at teachers. It really was a stupid rule and as far as I know was ultimately dropped. My school just banned all jewelry except watches unless it was a small retaining stud in the ear. We were banned from the gym at lunch, used to go in the gym, shoot hoops, etc. Eventually we were playing dodgeball with basketballs. Errant throw broke the fire alarm and set it off for the whole school. We had to stay in the cafeteria after that. Titty twisters. A weird dude in my class got a lot of laughs by letting people give him titty twisters. Apparently, after repeated and increasingly hard, titty twisters, the connective tissue behind his nipple broke. So this guy could literally stretch his nipple 5-6 inches off his chest. Obviously, being a teenager and a weird one at that, he went around showing everyone and their mother his new ability. He got warned about it several times and the final straw was when he was seen by the administration with an equally weird girl, sucking his nipple 5-6 inches off his chest. They immediately banned titty twisters, but there was really no need. We were all pretty scarred by what we had seen from this kid, sucking his 6-inch nipple. Holy crap I nearly just died laughing. Any liquid not in a clear plastic bottle. And then the only liquid we could have was water. The ban was because a girl in my grade got caught with vodka in a clear plastic bottle. Everyone in my school never understood the ban because vodka is clear like water and the only reason the teacher even caught onto her was because another dumbass kid was joking around about alcohol and the idiot with the vodka threw the bottle. Away in the garbage next to the teacher's desk. We weren't allowed to have water bottles at all. Same reasoning. A teacher took mine once when he saw me filling it at the fountain. Saying for all I know you could have vodka in that. As I was filling it. At the water fountain. Time traveling me would go back and say I didn't realize vodka came out of this fountain. But at the time I was just too dumbfounded to be that clever. My school would report you to the police if you were caught watching Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Happened twice in the year it was bid. Have no idea why but they just didn't like it. Freaking farquads. Cooking class. Superintendent decided that. I quote verbatim. Cooking is an impractical art. Today, everyone can just buy pre-made meals and no one has time to cook or they could be smart and hire a personal chef. This person makes over $150k year after taxes and is in charge of three schools in the district, totaling 3,000 students. By that logic, we should probably ban math too. Everyone can just buy a calculator, or be smart and hire someone else to do it for them. Dumbass. Shag bands. These plastic rubber bracelet things. Basically, if someone broke your shag band you supposedly had to have sex with them. A natural law according to some, but never, to my knowledge ever enforced. The school got wind of it and became horrified that a bunch of 13 years would ever think something like this reasonable and came down on us with an iron fist. I vividly remember one teacher scornfully say so called shag bands, and then spit in disgust. It was hilarious. The Captain Underpants series. Yo Yoss. Kids turned them into flailing weapons. Some kid nearly lost an eye. Those were the days. Cafeteria trays. The events that led to this started with a fight breaking out in the cafeteria where one person stabbed the other with a fork. The next day metal forks had been banned and we were only given plastic sporks to eat with. A couple of weeks later another fight broke out in the cafeteria and a group of three students beat another student using the cafeteria trays. After that we had styrofoam trays in the cafeteria. Shoulder knocked someone out with a textbook. Bionicles because we would smash them together and whoever's helmet fell off first was the loser. So many bloody hands in grade 4. The green one with the axe was OP because you could hook the top of the masks with it and pull them off on the upswing. After someone put Halo, CE on the network drive, and it started to rival Microsoft Word for most used software in the building, they had to ban that. Unfortunately, the person responsible for making the announcement had the computer literacy of a mountain goat, so the official rule was something like don't be downloading Halo websites on the computers. At my school someone did this and hid Halo CE in the special education folder. Nobody checked it because my school's special education program is notorious for having no oversight whatsoever. Hair color. Colored bras. Men with long hair. And nail polish. Comma colored bras. Transparent it is. Short selling stocks. Our class was the first to go through new mandatory financial literacy classes and part of it was a stock market simulation. 
We began betting against the market when we set it up to crash specific stocks and each time our money rose exponentially. We had to fill out paperwork for each trade which ended up amounting to around 30 pages of trades. At this point we had trillions. Our teacher was also very condescending about how great she was at the market. So we then bought huge percentages of her stocks and sold them pennies on the dollar to crash her stocks as well. After a while she checked everyone's progress and found we were trillionaires and went into a rage. Even calling the company to see how we had cheated. They said we had short sold which technically isn't cheating but she still disqualified us from winning the class game and gave us bees. Now there's a disclaimer before every class that says you'll automatically fail if you short sell. I don't understand what the problem was. It's pretty accurate to real business practices. Steel rulers. Some guy bashed the crap out of a bird with it. It was banned to share your Latin set texts translations with other people due to the volume of money a few of us made selling versions on the black market. But thanks Cicero. Your Proculio paid for an iPad. Selling candy. Kids would spend their lunch money on gum candy at Bulk Barn and would pieces for 25c each. People at my school did this. The school banned it and it became like a black market. They would go to a corner shop and buy a crap load of soda, candy and that sort of thing and sell bags of it. Why <laughs> UGO, Magic, and Pokemon cards. Some of the kids at school started trading and selling them during lunch time. But it got so bad as the kids were actually selling stolen cards they got from other students. My friend was swirlied one morning for his deck and later that day he saw a kid with his dark magician card. He knew it was his because he had a tendency to chew the ends of his cards. The teachers put a stop to all of it, including playing the card games and bringing them on school grounds. I feel so bad for your friend because when I was around 10 some kids in the grade below me bashed me on the head and stole my match attacks completed album excluding 100 clubs and then I chased them around the school and ended up slide tackling the guy who had my album and knocked him into a locker. The cards flew everywhere and in the swarm of kids I lost over half of my cards. Trench coats after Columbine. They tried to ban chains and spikes at my school, but that didn't work out so well. Had this little Bible study group that would meet during lunch. Once a week. It grew in size really fast so some of the parents of the kids started bringing homemade lunches to give to the kids that attended. Anyone was accepted to join. They never ran out of food. And it was free so kids that didn't have money or wasn't on the food plan could eat something other than straight junk food. It was stuff like sandwiches and chips but still better than the shitty cafeteria food. After a while though, the group grew a little too big to the point where the school board found out about it and shut down the parents bringing lunches for the attendance because it was lowering the amount of kids buying from the cafeteria. Freaking ridiculous. After that, they instituted a rule that parents couldn't bring lunches to kids anymore. The overall reasoning was it lowered the cafeteria profits. If you didn't have money or a lunch, you were crap out of luck. Pens. I'm not joking. Kids would buy somewhat fancy pens and then there would be a bunch of trading. Dude lem snag that uni ball. I'll give you two pilot G2s. And commotion. I remember there was a kid that everyone envied because of his Mont Blanc pen. Pretty soon, the school just banned using any outside pens and issued two of those crappy big round sticks. We were crafty though and started to replace the ink cartridges with those from our fancier pens. So yeah, it was basically prohibition. Pen edition. Candy canes. Apparently, they were a safety hazard because you could suck on them and sharpen them into a point, which could then theoretically be used to stab somebody. Most of our school suspected that it was simply a way of getting the ugly Christmas sweater club, a group of guys who wore ugly sweaters to school and roamed the hallways handing out candy canes while playing Christmas music, in trouble. It was by far the dumbest thing to ever happen at my high school. Yogurt eating contests were immediately banned at my high school when an overzealous football lineman vomited about a quart of yogurt and then attempted to re-eat the yogurt to win the contest. Domino vomit effect throughout the cafeteria. In middle school they banned the jerseys of a Japanese baseball player on the Chicago Cubs. The vice principal believed that Fukudome, Fukudome, was actually a joke, and he believed it said frick you, do me. True story. Google. They wanted to ban Gmail and someone kept finding alternate IPs and domains. Mini sticks. Young Canadians plus tiny hockey sticks equals extreme violence. 
we weren't allowed to yell Kobe anymore. This was mostly because of kids shooting balled up paper into trash cans and missing terribly. You have been visited by the strong skeleton. He wants you to like this video and have a good week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.